Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy KBG, and here we are on another video. Yeah, so here we are another video guys and on this video we're gonna be talking about something that people have been asking me about for a while I'm digging in the archives if you sent me a message online or on discord I'm gonna be trying to do videos for everything that you guys have sent me so this one is a real big topic real big 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 topic so people are talking about rally traps rally trap gear I'm gonna try to go into more than just the gear you know what I'm saying so first off People are confusing rein traps with rally traps. A rein trap is a reinforced is a reinforced trap. That means you need other people to reinforce you in order to cap that rally. A rally trap can do it all on their own. Maybe multiple rallies, two, three, four, depending on you know your gear, how many troops you have, and so on and so forth. So, um, all those people saying that rein traps or rally traps, no. A rein trap is a rein trap. That's why it's called a rein trap. A rally trap is a rally trap. A rally trap does not need any aid or assistance in trapping somebody. You should be able to do it all by yourself without reinforcements. Of course, reinforcements will make it that much better and easier. However, if you're solo dolo in a kingdom, by yourself in a kingdom, and you get rallied, that means you can eat the rally no problem. All right, so let's get it started. So number one, if you're a rally trap now, um, I'm sure you guys know who Sneaky Tashi is. Right, and his um rally trap that he had that I used to watch way back when, he had like um legit like two, one or two infirmaries, and the rest were manners. So there's different ways to go about this. The reason why he had manners, I'm guessing, is because not only the troop training speed it increases the army attack by two percent, right? But Sneaky Tashi can afford to do that. He's a beast. His gear is a beast. You know what I'm saying? So if you're like me, a regular player and you have a rally trap, that means you would have, like, one manner just to, you know, be there for whatever requirements that you need to upgrade, delete, whatever the case may be. And then you would have the rest infirmaries. Now, infirmaries, you know, um, when it's capped out, it's 40,000, when it gets to level 25, and 5% army HP. Now, the reason why army HP is important for normal people like you and me is because you have a lot of troops, so the more troops you have, the more army HP you need. You know, that's how you're going to survive, army HP, right? So, you can do the sneaky Tashi way where you have, like, legit one or two infirmaries and the rest manners. But those are for the people that have a ton of speed ups that can retrain those T2 that they lose after each rally. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, whatever the case may be. Now, if you are a normal player or free to play, then you definitely want to go the infirmary way. So, you have, you know, a barracks, infirmary, and I mean a barracks manner and the rest infirmaries. I'm actually gonna be converting to infirmaries pretty soon because I'm gonna be a full on, you know, heavy hitting rally leader. That's what I'm trying to do. But either which way, so step one step one you wanna have the majority so one 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 barracks, you know, just keep retraining this those T four. Um one manner, you know, for building or breaking down, whatever the case may be. And then the rest infirmaries because that's more army HP as well as more beds. So if you do take a massive rally from a mythic champ, a lot of it will go to the infirmary and the leftover should go to your sanctuary. All right, boom. So now that we come covered infirmaries, the next thing is familiars. Okay, so if you are a rally trap, there's certain familiars that you need and there's certain abilities that you need to have activated, like Aquarius, right? Drown out. Um, at the start of battle, it reduces enemy army HP by fifteen percent. Now that's um, what should we call it? That's very clutch because you have a lot of troops, and if they're coming to you with a two million might, I, mean, I said two million might. If they're coming to you with two million plus troops, that's gonna help out. The next one is evil weevil to boost fifty percent um of army HP on your side. You have a lot of troops. You're rally trap. You have at least nine to ten million troops. This is gonna help tremendously. Um, from there, I don't really know what you use. I guess it depends on, like, where you're weak at. You know what I'm saying? Everybody does it different, because I've seen a lot of different rally traps use different types of familiars. But Evil Weevil, Evil Weevil and Aquarius are definitely 
definitely, definitely important. You know what I'm saying? Some people use the um, turbo charge, which I don't really recommend because it only lasts for 10 seconds. Um, some people use Griffin. You know what I'm saying? When 10% of your troops fall, like you would never want it to be that, you know, 10% of your troops to fall, but it is what it is. So it's completely up to you exactly what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, But you just got to have, definitely have to have evil weevil to boost your army. Aquarius is, um, takes down the other person's army or whatever the case may be. All right. All right. So boom, check it, check it. Oh, am I still that? No, I'm not. All right. So this is familiar. So, you know, you also, that means you also have to do familiar battle research. Get slot one. If you're a trap, I recommend you have at least three slots open. Because one, you don't want to have too much might. And two, you need those three slots. You know, the more familiars you have using the better. You know what I'm saying? So, we just did the infirmaries. We did the familiars. All right, now your stats. Now, if I put on my mix gear right now, it's kind of trash. I'm missing some gems and stuff like that. I mean, some jewels and stuff like that. Right now, without being in the war gear, my mix gear is like that. 513 range attack, 347 imp, 360 cav. Now, as a rally trap, you need minimum 400 of each. So I'm going to hit the mix real quick. And then I'm going to check out um, what it says. So it's 415, 429, 529 range. Because you know, like, I got a lot of range gear in here. Now, I'm missing certain jewels, of course. So it's not like a f it's not fully set up to how it should be. Because I'm missing certain jewels or whatever the case may be. But um, I'm, I'm heavy range. I'm always in range failing. So it's good that my range attack is the highest. And then the other two follow suit. And then you know, um, so that that's that's your stats should be minimum four hundred each if you say you want to be a rally trap. Minimum four hundred each. My stats can go significantly high, significantly high on inf and cav, but um, I don't really get rally. But just in case I do, I make sure you know I have a little something like that. You know what I'm saying? But I could really increase if I want to. I just have to break down my rally leading gear and you know rearrange the jewels. I'm slowly increasing my jewels though. So in due time it'll be sky high. And I'm also working on certain familiars. So there's that. Ooh. VIP login. So this account is 236 days old. Alright, so anyway, continue from there. So now that we have the um the stats, what else is there to talk about? You know, if you are taking rallies, you always want to have some 50% attack boost or 70% attack boost. Just make sure you use an attack boost. You know what I'm saying? Then the phalanx. Now, everybody is different. I always defend in range phalanx. Now, what from my from my um time playing and from what other people have taught me, um, whether it be good rally traps, bad rally traps, whatever the case may be, you never want to take a rally in calf. Never. You never want to take a rally in calf. You never want to take a rally in calf. Do not go offline in calf field and saying, okay, I'm a rally trapper, take a rally. Do not take a rally in calf. Do not. Do not. Do not take a rally in calf. That's, that's, that's all I can say to you. <laughs> Do not take a rally in calf. Now, um, some people defend the range wedge, inf wedge. It's really up to what's coming at you, you know, and, you know, countering. So if you're that fast to see what's going to go down and how fast you can counter that's all you now me personally me personally me personally i'm kind of lazy so even if i do know what's coming i'm still staying in range so if people said send a whole bunch of info at me i'll still just be in range because when you don't know what's coming or like you panic like i tend to i tend to panic or like my heart starts being fast so i tend to stay in range because if you don't know what's coming range is the best to stay in you know what i'm saying and then on top of that my highest stat is range anyway so it's like a win-win for me but I'm telling you, if you don't know what's coming, range. Never go offline in calf. Never. Like, I don't, you know, there's a whole bunch of different people saying different reasons behind it. But I just know there's a whole bunch of people agreeing on you should never take a rally in calf or go offline in calf. You see what I'm saying? So there's that. Okay, now your troops, right? Now, my troops, obviously, I got more than the um recommended amount. So your troops, right? Before, before T5... Before T5, let's go into the barracks. Before T5, you only needed 1 million of each T4 and 3 million of each T2. 
Not at T5s here. Okay, so you already have these people that are Mythic Champ or crazy stats, 800, 900 attack or whatever, whatever. Um, now they have T5. Plus they have T5 familiars. So I personally, if you want to be safe, I will go 4 million each T2 and 1.5 million each T4. You know what I'm saying? If your stats are amazing, then you could get by with doing the one mil T four, one mil each T four. But you want to get one million of each T four. Like you really do want to get one million. I mean, one point five million of each T four. That's gonna make you comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're by yourself. If you're in a guild that's kind of like you know, not the same time zone as you, or they're like you know a whole bunch of lower players in your guild, then you want to have that extra oomph so that way. Whoever comes at you, you're good. You know what I'm saying? So 1.5 million of each T4 and 4 million of each T2. That'd be the perfect rally trap right there. Plus 400% each uh, attack stat. You know what I'm saying? Make sure your infirmaries are always clean. All that stuff. That's perfect right there. In my opinion. In my opinion. Now, obviously, my T4 isn't up there because I have the um, T5 and I use the T4 as meat shield for my T5. But I will be upping my T4 pretty soon because I just like to have a good basis. And, you know, people like to zoom in and zero people. So that's that's how I feel about that. So, yeah, guys. Um, Then let's get into gear, right? So, now, everybody has their own um belief in what their gear should be everybody believes that a rally trap should use certain different things but if you want the ultimate safe bet the ultimate most used um you know most reliable to so to say rally trap yet up i would start by using the frostman gray sword because a lot of people don't have the um skull crusher to uh legendary yeah so the most used thing that um I'll say that not this is the most the most reliable gear setup is you want to start with a frostman gray sword, right? Then you want to go with the mitts. What's the mitts at? The winter mitts, right? Then after the winter mitts, the you know the easiest helmet to upgrade I would say is the beast helm, right? Um, then of course the firewall plate. That's the, one of the best things to use universally. Then after that, the the boots kind of depend, you know, depend on you when you get up. But I would go either the um Dragon's Talent or the Storm Tassel just because they do more than one troop type. The um Gargantuan Belt it focuses on cab. You see what I'm saying? The Dra Dragon's Talent is the easiest to upgrade. Then as far as your um accessories, if it was up to me and I was making a rally trap all over again, I was starting fresh. I would use all blight rings to be honest with you. All blight rings. The reason why we use all blight rings. Oh, I only need three more for this one. But say I would use all blight rings. Right? Even though I have a mythic cup, I would use all blight rings. And let's get into it. The reason why I would use all blight rings is because if you upgrade. So not only you get 19.6 range attack, 21% army def defense. 21% army max HP, 35% wall death boost. Now, the most important thing there is the army HP and the RP defense. Army HP to be number one, you know what I'm saying? So that's one of the biggest things. And the more troop HP, the, I mean, the more army HP you have, the more beneficial, it to, more beneficial it is to you, especially if you already have um, your attack stats at a certain point. Now, if you can't, if you don't have a lot of Blight Rings or you don't have Mythic Rings or whatever the case may be, then you can mix match throw a cup in there. You know, people use Burning Scrolls. I don't use Burning Scrolls, but people use Burning Scrolls. But, you know, you want to have a good mix. You know, maybe you could throw another cup in there or something. Like, you know, it's completely up to you. But um, as a Rally Trap, the good things to use is Blight Rings. You know, you have high-level cups. Or burning scrolls, you know, just that's a common denominator used by everybody. So if I was a rally trap, you know, I told you what I always use, but you could use these common uh, mix things. Like honestly, right now, say I was a rally trap right now, right? This would be the setup that I would be using. Let me take a snapshot of that. Yeah, so this would be the setup that I'll be using because this is like kind of like a universal setup, and it's like easy to come by because if you 
You know, Skull Crush is the absolute best thing, but army attack 20%. But the Skull Crusher is so But yeah, the Skull Crusher is the um it takes a lot to upgrade, so most people won't be able to get to that, especially if you're free to play. It's gonna take a long time, you know what I'm saying? So the Frostborn Grey Sword is your go to because it doesn't take that much time to upgrade. You can pretty much get the hearts, you know, at a decent pace. And that this is my snapshot of um, being a rally trap or having rally trap gear. You know what I'm saying? If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you have any suggestions, feel free to comment below because you know there's always a critic. But um, yeah, that's this just me and what I would use. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, correct me if I'm wrong if I'm missing anything. But that's how my setup would be. Without further ado, it's your boy KBGE. Please like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Um, and stay tuned for the stay tuned. We got good stuff coming up. And yeah, KBGE out.